So I'm gonna share a couple of tips for enhancing your photos to be extra catchy and engaging on Instagram. <laughs> How's it going fellow photophiles? My name is Ilya and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog, especially to the dozen of you who joined this week. Thanks so much for joining me on my journey. So first I'm going to go over a couple basic points that seem to have worked in the past in Instagram strategies. First of all, keep the color and if anything, bring out the color. There are plenty of really successful black and white or grungy desaturated accounts out there who are doing great, but statistically colorful photos attract much more engagement. While a lot of your photos will look a lot better on the original rectangle crop, whether it's portrait or landscape, a square crop retains the best resolution and looks the best on the grid. And of course you've heard this, but expand your photos and make them into a series. Every piece of content tells a story, just like your photos, so take two or three or more and post them in a sequence and tell a story through each photo. Maybe they're taken at the same time or the same location or the same event, but they have different angles or focusing on different subjects, which makes them all interesting to see. And of course, take unique photos. Taking your regular snapshots often results in great pictures but why not take it a step further try long exposure photography for a new perspective during the night that translates into astrophotography and star trails or great city light photos borrow or rent a drone for bird's eye view photos like I did in my last vlog or order a lens ball which is a cheap way to add another cool perspective into your photos now let's get into individual techniques for unique photos and how to edit them always shoot in the golden hour or if that's not possible use cloudy days or even shade to avoid direct harsh sunlight or flat dimensionless images. Include people in your shots. We are naturally drawn towards other humans in photos and adding them in a relevant photo can make a huge difference. An alternative to that is putting your hand in the picture. Hold up a phone or a lens ball, a watch, a cup of coffee or have someone else lead you into the image. Climb up on a cliff and take a picture of your legs dangling over the edge. And of course back to the lens ball slash phone slash camera idea where you use another object to frame your composition creating kind of a double dimension. And now for the editing part. Use a gradient overlay. This affects your image by splitting it into two complementary colors which unites the entire picture in one, especially if there are many different details or colors. And it also adds a very interesting mood. Popular colors are orange and purple, which Instagram has used for ages, or you can do, for example, magenta and teal, which is really popular nowadays. If the sky is boring or just completely blown out, add clouds or a sunset. And of course, make sure that you color correct the rest of the image for it so it doesn't look fake. Add some sky elements to it, like the moon, the stars, the Milky Way, or even the northern lights. Birds, airplanes, hot air balloons, sparks, and other elements make it all the more interesting. That's the start of it, and from there you have plenty to experiment with. Take examples from other creators and try everything everything on your own work because that's how you generate your own style. Feel free to check out my Instagram in the description where I use a lot of those techniques on my own photos. If you like this video, you guys know what to do. Let me know what you want to see on this channel and I'm going to see you guys next week. Pshh.